Hello everyone, today we are going to look at how you create a live class using Google Meet through our e-learning platform. So to start with, you locate the course in which you want to create that live classroom. So I'm going to create my live classroom in this course that is Research Methods in Computing. It's already open, so all I will do is I turn editing on. So after turning editing on, I'll see all my editing handles and edit links. So I'll move to the section where I want to add the class. I want to add it here. I'll click on add an activity or resource button. And then scroll down to locate the Google Meet for Moodle. It's a resource. Now Google Meet is added as a resource not as an activity that is how it was created so you have to go under resources scroll down and find google meet for Moodle. so you check it then click on add so once you do that then you go to the settings page whereby you need to create the classroom name i'll call it rmc Meet, meet, test, classroom, description, test classroom for creating a meet live. I show the description on the course page. When is this going to happen? Um, create, put the date and then the time put the date and the time so i'll say it's going to happen at this time here from this time select the minutes to the next time 21 30 so this is now the the date when this live classroom will happen then the next important area is the room url so you have to generate one so you click on generate room url or room link here then you'll be prompted to choose the email so i will need to use my cub email it's very important you need to choose your cab email it is locked into cab email so if you don't have a cab email then you may not be able to use this particular resource to teach so you need to have your cab email to generate the room the room url or the room link then you have to send notification to students that this class is going to happen how many minutes before you can say let students receive the notification 30 minutes before the class. So if you need more information about the settings, you click on the question mark here. Then you see number of minutes before the start of the event when the notification should be sent. Okay. So the rest of the settings, you can leave them and click on save and return to course. So my class has been created, RMC Meet Test Classroom. I want to move it to the top. I always want my classrooms to be at the top because students easily find them. So it has been created and scheduled right here. So I'll turn editing off and move down. I'll see my RMC Meet Test Classroom. So the next thing would be for the students to join this classroom. As the teacher, I'll log in and click on my classroom. And then I'll see that there's enter room button here. And then I'll see that there are no recordings. Remember, the class can be recorded. So um I need to enter, so I click on enter room and our usual Google Meet 
will open i have to allow or accept all the prompts and then i click on the join button here and then i want my camera on i allow and then the camera will get in view so the next thing i'll need is for members to join my students to join this particular room so you can see someone is asking to join and that is michael mutevi so you should be able to admit so i've admitted one member should mute your microphone mute your microphones so the two members are in the class and you'll see that one member i had to admit another member entered without being admitted this is because one member calling used their cab email to join so that is why they did not need to be admitted my committee used an email which was not for cab so you have to admit those that are using emails that are not for cab so then after the meeting then they should be able to join and once you are at this level the next thing is to make your presentation we have a number of controls down here you can mute your microphone you can turn off the, the camera etc but let me go to present now you can see now uh collins has the camera off but has the camera on i have my camera on so that students are able to see me they can turn their cameras back uh just, just in case you they want to talk back or to express themselves that's important they're able to turn their cameras off and as um, the moderator of the course you can see participants here up you are able to also turn off their microphones you can see actions you can remove someone from a meeting etc um what is important here now is presenting so if you have your powerpoint or document click on present now and you choose what you want to present if you want to present a window that means maybe the that particular document is already open somewhere or you decide to present your entire screen and then choose that you actually want to present your entire screen and allow then you can now navigate from this window and go anywhere so that these people can see examples this is what i want to you know present to the members i want them to see what i'm doing uh, so members should be able to see what i'm doing and then they're able to follow um i can close this and move to something else that i wanted them to see maybe i want to members to see that we have videos about cover university i'm able to do that and members are able to follow along members are able to follow along when i'm making my presentation i can have my notes so on the desk on the desktop open is my presentation it's here I open while the participants are following along okay so i'm thinking this is how you make your presentation to the audience proceed through the presentation as they follow then you can get back and go to the tab where you have your video and you go to presenting and you can stop presenting and um, we should be able to record this uh, presentation for example it should be the first thing you should have done you go to these three buttons here options and you click on record meeting and then you accept okay so once you accept then the meeting will be recorded 
So the meeting will be recorded and this recording will be uploaded to your Google Drive of CUB within your account and students will be able to receive this recording. I'm going to show you an example of what the recording would look like once it has been recorded and students are able to access it right after. So if you have ended your presentation, then you go back to these three buttons here and you stop the recording. And once you stop the recording, this means that it is going to be processed and ready for students to replay in that free time if they want to go through the lecture again. So when you go back to your course page and you go to a class that you ended and open it, open the live class, scroll down, you will see a recording that is already there. You can actually rename this recording to a suitable name that describes what was being taught. So I can click on this uh, editing handle and call this class um, Introduction Lecture to Research. Press Enter so that it is easier for students to know what this recording was all about. And then when you record another class, still it will append itself and you can be able to rename it for the students to be able to know. And this is how we go back to the room and play the recording. So to play the recording, you click on the play button here. And the recording for that particular class that was compiled will show up. And this is how we use Google Meet in our e-learning platform to carry on a live class. Thank you.